I got a new microscope. And this is the Andenstar AD249S. Catchy name. Good to know that it's a professional electronic product. Full disclosure and all that jazz. This was sent to me by Andenstar for free. They're not paying me to promote it. They just said, would you like a new microscope for free? And I said, yes, please. So this is going to be an honest review. If I think this is rubbish and it's not an upgrade on my old one, I'm going to tell you that. Which I don't think Anastar will like, but that's what I'm going to tell you. Nice. Digital microscope 246S, 249S. I believe this is the 249S. I'm not sure what the difference is. Installation steps. It's as easy as that. Six steps. And I believe the upgrades on this on my previous one are that it's got a bigger screen. I think it's also 4K. It's definitely a bigger screen. I'll do a comparison between the two and then you can see the differences. But so far, looks good. I won't bore you with the assembly because it'll be boring, quite literally. So I'll just put it together and then tell you how difficult it was. Jump cut. It's pretty big. Comes with a remote control, a 32 gb SD card, some other lenses and stuff. I've got the lens that, it, that was already on it. So I'm going to start recording now and you can see what it looks like. I've got a little board under there. And there we go. So the, immediately what I can see, apart from a circuit board under a microscope, is that there's a lot more room to work than my previous one. Even with the Frankenstein modification I did, there's bags more room under here. So there we have the huge screen. And then we've got all this room to work underneath. Which is pretty good for comparison... There's the old one. Now, without my articulated arm on here, this used to come to about here. So there was even less room to work on that one. This one, bags of room. I suppose the downside to that is that it does appear to be miles away. And whilst it is magnifying it, it's still pretty small. So I'm going to try one of the other lenses, I think. So the one that was on was the A lens. I'm going to switch it to the L lens. I'm not sure what they stand for. But this one says object distance 90 millimeters to 300 millimeters. Oh wow. Much closer in. Excellent. Yeah, look at that. Nice. Now, it does have a digital zoom on it as well. So let's test out that digital zoom. Let's focus in on those pins. That's times two. Wow. Okay. It goes all the way up to times three. Now look how close you can get to the action there. With still a lot of a lot of room to work. Well, that's too close for me. So let's zoom back out again. Now it does still suffer from a little bit of wobble. Probably not as much as my other one. Yeah. Right, well let's get the other one out. And <laughs> this is ridiculous and see what the, the differences are. Well, first off, the difference in size. This is tiny compared to this one. Now let's just switch this from here to here. I mean, I can't see a lot of difference, I've got to be honest, on the screens, apart from it being much bigger on the bigger screen, obviously. I still like this old one, <laughs> I've got to be honest. That would still serve me perfectly well. Let's put it back on the the new one. And there you can see the difference in sizes there. Base plate is much bigger as well and squarer. More room to work. Although it's not massively different now that I've put that longer lens on. But there is still more room. I think I'll leave it there then I can actually talk to you. Right, while we've got this out we might as well do a real life test. So this micro USB port, someone's asked me to solder it on properly because they couldn't do it. And if we check it, yeah, it's massively moving around and isn't really working. Uh, so it needs soldering on properly. Obviously got a big solder blob here. So let's do a real life test. Exciting. <laughs>
case. Right, let's do the solid test. Solid. 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 That's solid. <laughs> solid. Right, a successful test, I think. And now it's time for Steve-O's thoughts. Pros. The big screen. More working space underneath. Higher resolution. Nice big base to work on. Cons. The screen. I think it's a little bit too big. Certainly for my application here, it's right in my face. But that would suit some people. Also the price, quite expensive. I'm not sure it justifies the increase over the, the old one. I, I can't remember how much the old one was. This would be more expensive. Do I like it enough to bin my old one and use this? I don't know. Time will tell. I will have another play around with it. I do like the size of the other one that I can just grab it and put it in front of me and shove it out of the way. Can't really do that with this. It's enormous. The bottom line is... Would I tell you to go out and buy one of these if you've already got one of the other ones? No. <laughs> and I'll start rewatching this going, told you not to send it to him. I told you. He's an idiot. <laughs>